An officer involved shooting in Harrisburg over the weekend, and now one man is dead. And tonight, the family is speaking out. Thanks for being here with us at 6 o'clock. I'm Joel D. Smith. CBS 21's Elise Person joins us live from Hall Manor, where a memorial for the young man is set to take place any minute now. Elise. Hi, Joel D. Well, yes, I'm here at Hall Manor, and this is the field behind me. We just saw a crew walk down that way. You can see some more individuals with balloons behind me here. That memorial where they're going to be releasing balloons is going to be remembering 22 year old Kendrell Hall. He was shot and killed by police early yesterday morning, but in speaking with the Dauphin County District Attorney, I'm told the preliminary investigation shows that police were justified in that shooting. It was done totally different around 1 30 Sunday morning. Police responded to the area of 2nd and South Streets in Harrisburg after hearing shots fired. The Dauphin County District Attorney says when police arrived to the scene, a man in a mask began running away and as police chased him, that man began shooting back at them. The DA says police fired back and those shots ultimately killed the man. That man identified as 22 year old Kendrell Hall. The DA tells me a preliminary investigation shows the officer was justified in his shooting. The DA also says a canine was shot and is recovering but he says they determined it was best to leave the bullet in the canine rather than surgically remove it. However, Hall's mother, Christy Bridges, says police didn't have to shoot her son and could have gone about things differently. Not to shoot and just taser him anything. Now again, this memorial, it's taking place right now and you can see behind me a huge crowd with balloons getting ready to lift those up in the air to remember 22 year old Hall. And we're told by a Harrisburg City spokesperson that that officer has been placed on desk duty while this investigation takes place. But again, this is still a very active investigation by the district attorney's office. As we have more information, we'll be sure to bring you the latest though. Live in Harrisburg, Elise Person, CBS 21 News.